What's up trombone player friends? Today we're going to be doing the song Half Note Rock. So the very first rhythm that we see in this song is what kind of rhythm? I'll give you a hint. It's in the title. Half note, right. And how many beats are inside of a half note? Two. That's right. So we see how many of them in a row? One, two, three. Three in a row. So we're going to go ta ta ta. Okay. Pause the video, try that a few times. How about this thing here? What's that kind of thing called? It's a half rest, right? It's how many beats long? Same as a whole half note. It's two beats long of silence. So when we go to play these first two measures and we get to this next note, it's gonna be like this. Da, 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 rest, rest, da. Okay, so make sure you keep those two beats of rest in your head and don't wait too long or too little. How about these next two measures? What kind of rhythms do we have here? Looks like these are both what's half notes. And this one here is a, remember, whole note. Say it, whole note. And how many beats does it get? Four. We hold this one for four beats long. Cool. So this one will sound like this. Da, da, da. When you get to this apostrophe looking thing, that is not to say that we're writing English. Um, it's actually a uh, breath mark. And what we're gonna do with that breath mark is we're gonna take a breath and sneak it in between this whole note and this half note without losing time. Okay, so let's practice that real quick from here up to here. Ready, go. Da, 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 da. Notice how I took that breath, da, and um, it just it just happened. Uh, I I played through that note, da, da. Okay, so you'll have to practice that a few times to kind of get used to it. It's natural feeling, especially with trombone. We run out of air a little sooner than some instruments. How about these rhythms here? Same as the first three, right? Half notes, good. Half rest, right? And then this one, this one's kind of different. It's all by itself. Da, 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 rest, rest, da, rest, rest, right? It's a half note and it's all lonely. It's separated by rests. So we have to make sure that we um, perform that correctly in time uh, so that it sounds all by itself. Okay, let's start right here and try it from there and try to execute this thing in time and this thing, those four beats in time, that whole note. Ready, go. Da, 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 rest, rest, da, rest, rest, da. Good. If you couldn't do that or if that was confusing to you, pause the video, go back and do that a few times. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, get the song in our head. I want you to do the entire song from beginning to end using the playback function. Make sure your my part is clicked on and play that a couple times, um, just singing it through to get the song in your head. Okay, um, and then the next part that we're going to do is we're going to look at, oops, um, we're going to look at the note names. So what do we see here? What's the first note name that we see? Do you remember what that note's called? Letter name? D. Right, right. And it's played in fourth position. Let's check that note real quick. Okay. Trombone's up. Put the slide out to fourth position. Remember, fourth position is about right here. Let's check the note with smart music and see if it sounds right. Mmm, I'm a little too far in. So I had to pull mine out a little further. <clears throat> what do we see um, in the third measure? So these two, these three are all Ds in their fourth position. And what happens here? What kind of letter name is that? You remember? E flat. Good, good. E flat in its third position. Play the note for yourself. Okay, uh, kind of hum it. Make sure it settles in. We play how many of those? One, two, three? Yeah, three of them. This is actually just a whole note, but it's still an E flat. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is when you get to this next 
half note, it's not going to change pitches on you. That note is still in E flat. But Mr. Butler, why is it still in E flat? Why didn't they mark it? Because we have a rule in music that says accidentals must carry through the measure. So when you see this B flat, that's this accidental. Um, it's it's to change the key in a, a particular piece. Um, so that E flat will carry through to this next E as well. And that'll happen all the way up until the bar line happens, which is why you see it marked again right here and why you see it marked again right here. Um, so the accidentals must carry through the measure from line to line, bar line to bar line. Okay. <clears throat> so just to say again, this is a, a whole note and it's the same as the other two. It's an E flat as well. Check that note. Or actually, yeah. Uh, rewind the video if you need to, check that note, and then meet me back here after the breath mark. This is a what letter? F, right? And how do we perform it? What position? First, right. First position. And how does it sound? Okay, so there's our note. If you start down here, does that sound correct? No. Get it higher. Firmer lips, pull back. Don't puff the cheeks. Uh, tongue, e in the mouth. <laughs> Almost right on in terms of pitch. So make sure those lips are really firing at a fast vibration. <laughs> your tongue is shooting high in the mouth to shape the air through the center, and your lips are pulled tight enough to make that vibration happen. How many in a row are there? One, two, three. That's right. And then this thing we've already talked about is the same as the E flat over here. So third position here. And then we have the last note, which is the what? D, right. It's a D and it's the same as the beginning. So we start on the D and end on a D, fourth position, fourth position. All right. So what I would do if I were you is I would practice the song going through the slide positions from beginning to end and make sure you have no issues. Okay. Pause the video and do that. Now that you're back, take a second and work with me through it. We'll do uh, slide positions from beginning to end, <clears throat> just the slides. Prep the slide. Got to make sure you pull that thing in before the next note. Prep the slide in the space. Prep the slide in the space. Good, good. So those rests and that breath mark are a good opportunity to make sure our slides are in the right place before we try to play the next note. Good for you. Now, if I were you, I would sit there and practice this with the Smart Music platform and check each one of these notes, make sure you can get through it. Now, I will practice one thing with you, and that is getting from measure three, where my cursor is, up to this half note because of the breath mark. So if you would, uh, stop the video, practice these notes real quick on your own, and when you unpause, we're going to try this together. Here we go. <clears throat> Third position. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Did you catch all that? If not, take a second and practice that and make sure you're feeling the tempo with your body or with your toes um, and you're not missing timing from there to there because smart music gets pretty angry when you mess up rhythm. Um, it'll give you all a bunch of reds. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, I'm going to have you pause the video again, practice one more time, and then we're going to try it together from beginning to end. I'm going to go to my tracks. I'm going to turn my part off. Okay, here we go from beginning to the end. I'm going to put my click off to eight beats. Okay. Remember also, you can slow this down if you need to. If this is too fast, slow it down. Um, 88 is kind of quick for some people. Here we go. Try it with me. Five, six. <laughs> That was a lot. 
admittedly, some of you guys who've, who have practiced the whole time will find that that wasn't so bad. You may have missed one or two notes, but you're generally on the right track. Those of you who haven't practiced, though, may find that that is like unbearable. You can't get through hardly any of it. Well, guys, go watch the video again. Pause where I say to pause. Practice the things I tell you to. It may take you a couple days. Whenever I practice music and I go to record something, I always do it for multiple days so that when I go to record, I'm getting the best sound I can get with the freshest brain I can get. It's not one day of practice and then done. It's many days of practice and then you're happy with the result, right? So um, do that and you'll be uh, set up for success. You'll be just fine. You guys are amazing. Keep up the good work. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.